Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. Not too long ago, a man, a great man, stood at a podium and spoke in front of thousands of people. And he said that he had a dream. You know, I would never compare myself to that great man, Martin Luther King Jr. Many of you know who I'm talking about. But I can appreciate and also identify with his dream. I can identify with the dream to free his people, to free all people, because freedom is colorblind. It's something whether or not we're black, white, purple, orange, or polka dot, we all want. We all want to be free. We all want to make a good home for our family. We all want to make a good home for our country. Yet the people in Washington, D.C., the same people that oppressed Martin Luther King and his people during his era, during the 1960s before he was shot for being too effective of a freedom patriot, we are experiencing the same type of controls and the same type of oppression as we did during the famous years of civil rights and the movement for freedom for the black man. Now, all men, women, here in the United States of America are struggling. At the behest of politicians in Washington, D.C., people like Eric Holder that say and call you a racist, point a finger at the American patriot. Anybody that cares about their country, cares about freedom, or cares about the constitutional republic is a racist. This is what Eric Holder, the attorney general, one of the most powerful positions in government today, has to say about the American constitutionalist. The regular John and Jane on the street, you tuning in, that cares about freedom, that wants to be free. We have a president at the White House, Barack Hussein Obama, that speaks in Austin and uses I, I, I more than any other president we've ever seen in history, saying because he does not appreciate the branches of government at all, he's just going to take matters into his own hands and use executive action. When it comes to immigration, when it comes to bank bailouts, when it comes to really any kind of reform, gun control, that he sees fit, he is going to ignore our branches of government. He's going to ignore Congress. He's going to ignore our safeguards that founded and established this great country. So although I would never dare to compare myself to the same man who said he had a vision, who said he had a dream, I can identify with that dream as many of you can, tuning in. You know, the American patriot, the, the person, the American that loves freedom and liberty is not a terrorist. That is the bread and butter of what it means to be a good and honest American, somebody that loves their country, somebody that doesn't want to open up their borders, north, south, east, and west, so that illegal aliens can come into our country and crash and burn our existing system again. I was watching CNN yesterday and noticed they were doing a special on the 60s. They were doing a special on Martin Luther King Jr. and the movement and the civil rights movement, trying to compare it and liken it to the immigration debate and this immigration crisis that we're living today when it's like comparing apples to oranges. Again, it's not that we don't care. It's not that I don't care about people across our borders or overseas or in any country for that matter. But these people aren't citizens. They're not legal. In order to maintain our sovereignty and to maintain our independence, we need to seal our borders. We need to have laws. We need to abide by the constitutional principles that, thank God, our Supreme Court is actually upholding with cases like Hobby Lobby right now, actually siding with the U.S. Constitution and not a dictator, dictator in the name of President Barack Obama. Again, somebody who has no regard for the spirit of what it means to be free, for the spirit of what it means to be an American, these people wanting to alter what America is. And unfortunately, successful in that matter, having effectively hijacked the United States of America over the past few years, while the American people sit on the sidelines in emotional turmoil, watching the country that they love change. None of it for the better. I have a dream, just like that great man before me had a dream, and that dream is for freedom, liberty of all people. It's to maintain the constitutional sovereignty of the United States of America, and I believe we can do it together. I believe we can take back America. There is nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make you a terrorist. That doesn't make you an evil person. That makes you a bread and butter honest American to want to preserve that thousands if not millions of people before us have died for, have spilled their blood, and now it's up to us. It's up to you to help us build that critical mass to save America today. 
You are the tipping point, my friends. We are the tipping point, and we can't be afraid to get our hands dirty. The time is now to take this country back. The time is now to spread the good word. The time is now to have that dream. And to not just have the dream, but live it and carry the torch of freedom and liberty forward for all great people of this land. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting it in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.